Swimmer Luca Holzhausen is making waves on the local scene while dreaming of being at next year's Paris Olympics. So it's imperative that the 19-year-old KZN hopeful dominates on the home front first. Holzhausen impressed at swimming South Africa's Grand, Grand Prix in Bombela this month and hopes to continue that form at the Grand Prix set for Durban in March. ENCA's Sipogazi Malinga caught up with him. Luca Holzhausen knew from a young age that swimming was the sport he wanted to be involved in. After an eye injury that halted his swimming for a couple of weeks, he decided to try out other sports, but his heart was still in the pool. So when I was about seven, eight years old, um, my dad always you know, took me to all my sporting events and all that sort of thing. I used to do cricket and rugby and then swimming as well. Obviously, I was, I was pretty good at swimming as well when I was young. Um, and then eventually uh, I, I started to go more to the side of just playing rugby and swimming. Um, but then I unfortunately got a, a small injury to my eye and I couldn't put my goggles on. So I wasn't able to swim for like two, three weeks. And, uh, and that like kind of made me sad that I couldn't swim. So later on, and I did some uh, decision making with my parents and we just decided to, to leave all other sports and just continue with swimming. While a lot of people only figure out their niche at a later stage in life, Walt Hazen seemed to have found his pretty early. The 19-year-old kicked off the year with a big splash after his impressive swim at the Grand Prix in Bombella, clinching victories in the 100-meter breaststroke, 100-meter freestyle and 200-meter individual medley. So it's, a, it's an amazing feeling, you know, whether you're winning national events or where they were winning Grand Prix events. Um, I don't know, I really enjoy winning races, uh, competing against, like I said, my mates. Um, yeah, it's, it's always great and I, I can't complain <clears throat> with, uh, with that, yeah. Going into the Grand Prix in Bumalanga, Holt Hazen was mindful of the competition. Normally there's, I mean, a little, little bit more competition, but obviously everyone's finding their ways um, in the new year. You know, not, not everyone comes, but, you know, there was still a, a really good amount of, of competition. Some of my good mates uh, were there uh, along the, 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 the women's side and the men's side. Um, so that was, that was really great to raise some, some good competition. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to next year, actually. I always, I always enjoy Nelspreet and, you know, the little training camp there and then followed by a, a, a competition, the first leg of the Grand Prix. Um, always great to start, start the year up there. Um, so yeah, it was, it was great. The young swimmer is now working towards his long-term goal of representing his country at the Olympics. But for now, Holtzhazen wants to gradually build up through national and continental events before taking on the world. I'll be looking at yeah, African events, uh, African champs and uh, also world champs in, in Japan. <clears throat> that will also be great to qualify for. Obviously, Olympics is a, is a great, great way to not end uh, your swimming career but uh, if you're qualifying for the olympics and you enjoy yourself and you know you're swimming at that high level um yeah i think that'll be a, a really great achieve achievement for myself i think probably the biggest um you know obviously winning gold medals and breaking world records is also uh, massive achievements but i think uh, if i had to be realistic for now just you know getting to that uh, that stage and getting to that level of swimming uh, would be my goal right now and then if or when I make that that sort of level then you know you can obviously reevaluate your your goals and and see if you you can go on to breaking world records and and uh, winning gold medals at Olympics and world champs and that sort of thing. Paul Tazen believes South Africa has an enormous amount of talent. The 19 year old is inspired by compatriots and fellow KwaZulu Natal locals Chad Leclerc and Matthew Sates, with his role model being Britain's multiple Olympic and world champion Adam Peaty. Obviously, you get those great names Michael Phelps, Chad Leclerc, many other younger swimmers in South Africa, Matt Sates, Peter Kutsia. Um, I've always looked up to anyone that has really like shown what they, what they have on that high level. Um, but I think one that stands out is Adam Peaty. Um, I've really enjoyed like watching him like come from a young age, break world records. Paul Tazen is grateful to his parents for providing the support and springboard for his swimming career to flourish. But it will be up to him to make an even bigger splash and the national championships and hopefully world championships this year. Sipogazi Malinga, Durban.